What is going on? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and I just wanted to make this quick video to inspire you uh, to create car art. So I had this radiator that I pulled out of the 67 Chevelle project and I just kept it on the side because I knew I wanted to do something with it in the future. So we're just going to grab some Rust-Oleum metallic paint here. We're going to paint up uh, the top section of our radiator. Then we're going to get some undercoating that I had, some uh, tight seal rubberized undercoating and spray the the grill part where my daughter is spraying, we're gonna sp spray that black. I made a mistake, I was thinking of doing the whole thing chrome, but I was like, no, nah, that's not gonna look good. So we ended up changing the inside piece where the grills are uh, to a dark black. So let's finish off the top here. And a while ago, I made something pretty cool that I thought would fit perfectly in this radiator. So keep watching, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, it's Tony here. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about car art like this. I just made it uh, to inspire you to get creative with whatever you're doing. You know, instead of throwing stuff out, you could make things if you want to. If you're into weird stuff like this, like I am. But um, it's it's super, super cool. So we're just going to mask up the out outline area, the, uh, the silver, and then spray the inside black and um, we'll show you what I got. So if you wanna learn auto body DIY step, step by step auto body, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com to get a free 85 page booklet so you can customize your cars or trucks or whatever you're working on like that little mini truck in the background that I have. Super, super cool. Thanks for watching, bye. Just kind of tape up what we don't want painted, right? That's the whole idea. Just tape up what you don't want painted. No, this is a DIY art piece of project. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So we could just go like this. Kind of hard, it's not sticking. Good? Now, Looks like a TV for some reason. Does it? Yeah, it does from here. It's gonna be a flat. So I made this rim clock a long time ago um, and I just cleaned it up. It was rotted in the back as far as the acid from the old battery. It's working. Sweet. So here's what we're going to do for our rim radiator clock. I just had the idea with the radiator and I was like, let me do something cool with it instead of just throw it out. Um, so we got the clock in, right? So now all I'm going to do is just put a zip tie through. Okay, we're gonna figure out where we want this. Like that, I would think. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna pop a zip tie through. Go. See it come out. Now we're just gonna zip tie this puppy in. Let's make sure it's center. Looks pretty center to me. Sweet. I can see if I show it like this. Pretty damn cool, right? What do you think? Yeah, it looks cool. Let's put it in front of the truck show. 